Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and in this video we are going to learn how to perform some mass mass stoichiometry calculations. So let's jump right in and take a look at an example problem. In this example problem it says that 49.6 grams of hydrochloric acid reacts with excess sodium sulfate according to the reaction equation shown below. Calculate the mass of sulfuric acid that is produced if all 49.6 grams of hydrochloric acid is consumed in the chemical reaction. So we have a chemical reaction right here, hydrochloric acid reacting with sodium sulfate, producing sodium chloride and sulfuric acid. And what we're asked to figure out is the mass in grams. We want to figure out the mass in grams of sulfuric acid that will be produced if we only have 49.6 grams of hydrochloric acid reacting with an unlimited quantity or an excess of sodium sulfate. So let's understand this problem. We have a chemical reaction here. We're asked to calculate how much sulfuric acid in grams can be produced if we only have 49.6 grams of this. How can we figure this out? Well, the very first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to rewrite this chemical equation and balance it. So let's go ahead and do that down below here. We have hydrochloric acid reacting with sodium sulfate. And this is going to end up producing sodium chloride and sulfuric acid. And so what we have to do is balance our chemical equation. So we have two sodiums on the left. We have two sodiums on the right. This gives us two chlorines on the right. We now have two chlorines on the left. We have two hydrogens on the left, two hydrogens on the right. We have one sulfur on the left, one sulfur on the right, four oxygens on the left, and four oxygens on the right. So our chemical equation is now balanced. And so now that we've balanced our chemical equation, we can start doing the stoichiometry. So in this problem here, this tells us that we have 49.6 grams of hydrochloric acid and we want to figure out how many grams of sulfuric acid will be produced. So let's start this calculation. We have 49.6 grams of HCl. So we're going to start with the known quantity which is 49.6 grams of HCl. That's what it tells us in the problem. And so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do some stoichiometry here to figure out the mass of sulfuric acid. So if we're asked to figure out the mass of sulfuric acid, let's go ahead and think backwards. We have to figure out the number of moles of sulfuric acid. And how do we figure out the number of moles of sulfuric acid? Well, we're going to have to compare the number of moles of sulfuric acid here to the number of moles of hydrochloric acid. And how do we get the number of moles of, uh, of HCl or hydrochloric acid? Well, we're going to have to convert the grams in two moles. So our very first step here is that we're going to cancel out grams of HCl and we're going to convert two moles of HCl. So our very first step in this stoichiometry problem here is going to be to convert grams of HCl to moles of HCl. So now once we have the number of moles of HCl, we're going to have to cancel out moles of HCl. So in our fraction here, we will put that in the denominator. And we're going to have to figure out the number of moles of H2SO4. So we'll put that at the top. So in this step right here, we're going to have to come, out, come up with some sort of mole ratio. That is to say, a comparison between sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid and we can obtain that by looking at our correctly balanced chemical equation. And we'll get to that in a second. Once we're done with this step, what we're going to do is we're going to cancel out moles of H2SO4. So we'll put that at the bottom of our fraction here. And we're going to figure out the number of grams of H2SO4. So we'll put that at the top. And that's what we're asked to find we're asked to calculate the number of grams of H2SO4. So what goes in these empty spaces? Well, let's figure that out. If we take a look here, we know that one mole of HCl 
is going to be how many grams? Well, if you're watching this video, then I suspect that you already know how to calculate a molar mass, right? We can see that we have hydrochloric acid. We'll go ahead and calculate that regardless. We have hydrochloric acid. We need to figure out the molar mass. So hydrochloric acid's made up of hydrogen and chlorine. Specifically, we have one hydrogen, one chlorine. So we need to take one times the molar mass of hydrogen, which is 1.01 .01 if we look on the periodic table. And then we're going to take one times the molar mass of chlorine, which is 35.45 if we take a look at that same periodic table. We will add these together and we're going to end up with 36.46. thirty six point four six grams per mole so we just figured out that one mole of HCl is thirty six point four six grams per mole now what about this step right here in our mole ratio step what we're gonna have to do here is take a look at our balanced chemical equation in our balanced chemical equation we can see that for every one mole there's an imaginary one here for every one mole of H2SO4 there are two moles of HCl. So for every one mole of H2SO4, there are two moles of HCl. So understand that concept of a mole ratio. The mole ratio allows you to compare an unknown quantity in your chemical reaction, in this case the sulfuric acid, to a known quantity, in this case the hydrochloric acid. And we get the values here from our balanced chemical equations and the co coefficients that come in front of those substances. And then in this last step here, we're going to have to convert the moles of H2SO4 back into grams. So what we have to now do is we now have to figure out what the molar mass of H2SO4 is. So let's do that right here. We have h 2 SO4, we have hydrogen, we have sulfur, we have oxygen. There are two hydrogens. There is one sulfur, there are four oxygens. And so, if we take a look here, we'll take two, whoops, we'll take two, which is the number of atoms of hydrogen in this molecule here. So we're going to take two times 1.01 .01, which is the molar mass of hydrogen then we're going to take 1 times the molar mass of sulfur which is 32.07 and we're running out of room here but we're going to squeeze it all in and then we're going to take 4 times the molar mass of oxygen which is 16.00 we get 64.00 we're going to add these all together so we'll take 2.02 .02 plus 32.07 plus 64.00 and we end up with 98.09 grams per mole. So here's our molar mass of sulfuric acid. So now we can just plug that into here. We know that one mole of sulfuric acid is 98.09 grams. So that's how we set up a mass mass calculation problem. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to start all the way on the left with our starting quantity, 49.6 grams of hydrochloric acid. We're going to work our way from left to right. If we come across the number other than one in our denominator, we're going to divide. If we come across the number other than one in the numerator, we're going to multiply. So we're going to take 49.6 divided by 36.46 divided by 2, and then we're going to multiply that by 98.09. And we should end up with 66.7 grams. 66.7 grams of sulfuric acid. So in this problem here, if we have 49.6 grams of hydrochloric acid reacting with an excess of sodium sulfate, how many grams of sulfuric acid will be produced? Well, we just figured that out. 66.7 grams of sulfuric acid will be produced. If you like what you see, go ahead and click that little bomb in the bottom right-hand corner, and that will subscribe you to my channel. And feel free to leave any comments and questions in the comment section down below. And I really hope you guys found this helpful.